Hello, my name is Joy Jernigan, and today I will be talking about the 1963 case, Gideon v. Wainwright. First, I will start with a bit of background information, and then proceed into the issue and the ruling of the case, before concluding with the reasoning behind the decision and the effects it caused. A bit of background information. Clarence Gideon was charged with breaking and entering with the intent to commit a misdemeanor felony in the state of Florida. When he appeared for his trial, he had no attorney, as he could not afford one, and asked the presiding judge if the court could appoint an attorney for him. This was denied, for at the time, court-appointed counsel was only given to those who had committed a capital offense. Gideon then proceeded to represent himself to the court, doing it quite well, but was eventually found guilty and sentenced to five years imprisonment. Gideon sought relief from his conviction and filed a writ of habeas corpus in the Florida Supreme Court, which was later denied. Following the denial, Gideon petitioned the National Supreme Court, and they agreed to hear the case to resolve the issue of the right of counsel as stated under the Sixth Amendment of the Constitution. The issue. There was a case in 1942, Betts v. Brady, that ruled that the court was not responsible for appointing an attorney if the defendant could not afford one themselves. The petitioner, Betts, was charged for robbery in the Circuit Court of Maryland. He was unable to afford an attorney for the full time needed to go through the court system. When the court was asked to provide an attorney for Betts, he was informed that only murder and rape cases were provided an attorney if the defendant could not afford one. The Supreme Court accepted Gideon's case to review the decision made 20 years beforehand. The ruling and the reasoning behind it. The court unanimously overruled the Betts v. Brady case. The court decided that the Sixth Amendment's promise of counsel is fundamental to a fair trial and the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. In the words of Justice Black, a judge who had been present for both Betts v. Brady and Gideon v. Wainwright stated, Reason and reflection require us to recognize that in our adversary system of criminal justice, any person hallowed into court who is too poor to hire a lawyer cannot be assured a fair trial unless counsel is provided for them. In conclusion, the Gideon v. Wainwright case overruled an earlier case, Betts v. Brady. Now the court system must provide an attorney for any and all defendants who are too poor to afford one themselves. Thus, the right of counsel was extended to misdemeanor and juvenile proceedings. Gideon was granted a new trial, and with the help of a local attorney who had the time and skill to investigate the case, as well as con competently give a defense, was acquitted of all charges. All of the information spoken on today was found from the websites provided in the comments below this video. I will also provide a manuscript of the speech given as well today. Thank you for listening. Good evening.